You guys know he's stat pads, right? For 10 straight weeks, way back early on in 2023, go fact check me on this, NBA.com's MVP ladder from January 1st to March 10th wrote in Nikola Jokic as the favorite for MVP 10 consecutive times. As clips from Kendrick Perkins on ESPN First Take started to gain traction around that time. When it comes to MVP voting, when it comes to MVP voting, 80% of the, MV, of the voters are, are white American. 20% are others. I'm watching Jokic pass the ball, and I'm watching his guys catch and shoot, catch and shoot, no hesitation, good or bad shot. Are you sitting here and saying, Nikola Jokic is having his numbers, Patty? You heard what the hell I said. It's 9.5 assists he was averaging, 9.8. And all of a sudden, I saw those shot attempts and his points go down, and I started to see his assists go up. It's no coincidence directly after that, Joker's near three-month reign at the top of the NBA's mid-season MVP ranking abruptly ended. Gone along with it, his chances at winning the award for a third straight season. In the month of March, where Embiid took the number one spot away from Jokic, Joel averaged three and a half less rebounds than Nikola, over five less assists. His true shooting percentage was 2% worse. His three-point percentage was 3.1% worse. Remember, it's not the scoring title we're talking about, but Nikola's 26.3 points per game in March equated to his second highest scoring month of the 2022-23 season. My point is, if he was number one for 10 weeks leading up to that above average month of March, which he was, there should have been no universe where he ended up losing that position. But it's a universe that fans across Colorado can more than live with, as Nikola Jokic secretly took everything personally, which ultimately led to the state's second major sports championship in as many years. The Avalanche and Nuggets have gone back to back. Albeit after facing gut-wrenching hate from the media, which much of the fan base is still rightfully looking for revenge over, stay tuned to see what exactly proves Joker used it all as fuel. Just 19.9% .9 of you watching right now are subscribed, so please subscribe if you haven't already. While Serbian Superman Nikola Jokic may only have one priority, <laughs> duh, winning. So you're uh, not a guy who cares a lot about stat, but when you have a line that's never been accomplished before in, in finals history, what do you think of that? To be honest, I just think of it's a win, you know, because if we lose, nobody's going to even mention. Even, I mean, to be honest, I, I don't care. Uh, it's, just, uh, it's just a stat. That doesn't mean he didn't hear the noise. What does 100 triple doubles mean to you? When you start batting, it's easy, you know, so... You heard that, right? You heard the stat padding stuff out there. Yes, of course. I mean, it's What's true. What's your reaction? It's true. Oh, God. Gross. Freaking idiot. <sighs> Nikola isn't going to go on a long rant about the disrespect like the media would want him, but more commendably does the slightest bit of trolling, then lets his game, both basketball and horse racing wise, do the talking. Jokic would go on to break Wilt Chamberlain's record for the most triple doubles in a playoff run with 10. He averaged a triple double in two of the four series he played in. 28, 15, and 12 in the conference finals, and 35, 10, and 13 in the conference semis. He dropped 53 points in game four of the second round against Phoenix to set his career high for both the regular and postseason, and it was the most points any player had ever scored in a playoff regulation loss. Two of Jokic's 10 triple doubles came in the finals against Miami. He kicked off the 2023 finals with a 27-point, 14 assist, and 10 rebound outing. His Game 3 box score was increasingly mind-boggling. 32 points, 21 rebounds, and 10 assists, which made him the first player ever to record at least 30 points, 20 rebounds, and 10 assists in a finals game. Displaying that he's already one of the greatest performers ever in playoff history, among players with at least 2,000 playoff minutes recorded, Jokic ranks 13th in both assists and rebounds per game, which may not seem flashy, but not a single other player ranks in the top 30 in both stat categories. Also taking into account that 2,000 minute threshold, only Wilt Chamberlain has a higher combined average of points, rebounds, and assists. When it comes to efficiency, Jokic also breaches the bounds of history in this area, mixing quantity with quality in terms of his shooting numbers. 
taking into account all players with at least 1,000 career playoff shot attempts, Jokic ranks second with a 57% effective field goal percentage. That trails only Dwight Howard, who's at 59%. Regarding true shooting, and Nikola ranks third in playoff history with a 61% mark, trailing just Kawhi Leonard and Kevin McHale. Jokic is ranked fifth in that 1,000 plus shot attempt club when it comes to two point percentage, and is ranked second in three point percentage in history. Next to two time finals MVP Kawhi Leonard, Jokic is one of only two players with 1,000 plus shot attempts who own a shooting split of 50 40 80. Most jaw dropping is that aforementioned fact of Jokic being second in all time playoff three point percentage. All time great snipers in Klay Thompson, Ray Allen, and Steph Curry are all around one percentage point behind him. In the last three minutes of a playoff game with the score within three points, Jokers made 15 of 32 attempts, a 47% mark, which is tied for fourth among the 45 players who have at least 30 such attempts since 1996-97. Then for the basketball junkies, the advanced numbers. In offensive box plus minus across history, only Michael Jordan has a higher number than Nikola Jokic. In player efficiency rating, Jokic is the all-time playoff leader, one spot ahead of Jordan and two ahead of LeBron. At just 28 years of age with an entire prime ahead of him, Nikola's 16 career playoff triple doubles are third most of all time, only trailing LeBron's 28 and Magic's 30. In addition to ranking ninth all-time on the playoff point per game leaderboard, Jokic ranks 19th in postseason assists per game and number 16 in postseason rebounds per game. No other player in NBA history even places in the top 40 of all three lists. Jokic's true shooting percentage this season was 71.2%, the highest in NBA history for a player with at least 1,000 shot attempts. One of the factors helping Joker with that efficiency is the Serbian's once-in-a-generation finesse featuring an array of hooks, scoops, floaters, and faders. Nikola's percentage on shots between 5 to 9 feet, since he entered the league back in 2015, is at 58.2%, the next highest percentage among all players who have attempted at least 200 such shots over that time span, is Kevin Durant at 53.4%, the greatest mid-range shooter of this generation. The league average, meanwhile, is just 41%. That just about defines how mechanically sound this man is. As the saying goes, practice the fundamentals. So often I refer to him as the greatest passing center of all time, but how is that proven? Well, in 147 regular season games, accounting for nearly 25% of his career outings, Jokic finished with at least 10 assists. No other player in NBA history, 6 foot 10 or taller, has had 10 plus assists in even 8% or more of his games. That is ridiculous. To infiltrate the psyche of advanced analytic VORP god Nick Wright, we'll cap off this video with a mind-boggling advanced stat. The Denver Nuggets point per 100 possessions with Jokic on the court during the season was at 124.2. No team in NBA history has ever had a better offensive rating with one particular player in the game than Denver did with Jokic this year. Jokic's response to the noise more than stood out on the stat sheet, it screamed out, equating to every bit and then some of verbiage that many quote-unquote basketball enthusiasts expected out of him. Let me know the craziest Joker stat mentioned in this video in your opinion down below in the comments section.